Yo, my name is Lucille. I'm from the Taste Breakers. Or just Taste Breakers, not the, because we're all Taste Breakers. Yo, Nady, Nady, You're a Taste shit. Breaker. She's a Taste Breaker. Get this shit right. He's a Taste Breaker. He's a Taste Breaker. JMO is an honorary Taste Breaker. This guy's serious. We're here with my man, my boy, my brother, JMO. JMO Opa. JMO from the Bayo. West. DJ Amo. DJ Amo is love. The multi talented, multifaceted artist friend that I know. Yeah. Um, so he has blessed us with his presence on this first show. So it's, a, it's an honor to be showcasing some of your music, man. Super glad to be here, bro. Y'all fam, this is fucking my dream. This is tight. Hell yeah. Yep. Because I know that, you know, not a lot of people know what you've been up to recently, um, particularly from a music pr perspective. I mean, I'm going to be real with you guys. I didn't know J-Mo could legitimately rap until he hopped on to City Country Grammar, which was July of last year. It's been like less than a year. And like, <laughs> you laid that verse, bro, and instantly I was like, damn, j -Mo's my favorite rapper. I'm like, no fucking joke. So that his verse on that was hard. So, you know. Y'all check that out. City Country Grammar. SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes. Apple Music, <laughs> the whole nine. We're out there. Um, but yeah, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing, just kind of what like got you to the point, first of all, that you know you want to start rapping, and uh, then what you've been doing since you made that decision. I, I don't really rap much, but it's like I, I try to like get my vocals to a certain point, but really what I really liked doing was playing with my friends' beats because uh, they would come out with these fire-ass beats, and I would like imitate rappers a lot but it, they'd be like yo that shit's kind of tight you know <laughs> so i'd be like dude i, I don't know but yeah. you know they, they recorded it and then eventually they kind of like helped me get my confidence up a bit but really i want to showcase like my my closest friends beats and that's kind of what got me into rapping like yeah. uh, i don't i don't consider myself a rapper i consider all this is just art and i'm just painting a certain color and that's what yeah. it is for that for yeah. it up I mean, you know, you also DJ. Like, I mean, that's oh, how yeah, I dude. started knowing. You know, that's how we started like, getting together. Like the DJing route. Yeah, dude, dance is like super important in my life, 100%. and I feel like, like the dancer, like that world, just the way people, like the dancers see music and the way yeah. they, like they go across to like different people and they just they give life to people. And I feel yeah. like us DJing is giving life to people pretty much. We're just keeping up with what's trendy in music. Yeah. You know, we. Yeah. Keep, we're kind of like the, like, we 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 uh, sift out all the bad music or whatever yeah. we don't like, and then people kind of just come up to us, and we're like the curators of like what's what's dope or what what we like personally, and it's just yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, low key secret about the taste breakers, we get our music from JMO ever since what dot CD got shut down. So Yo, shut out. He's the bruh, bruh. plug. I mean, he's got everything that we need. Anytime I'm about to go spin a gig or something, I slide through and I'm like, Yo, JMO. You got plug me with some beats real quick, Dude, homie. Music is drugs, bro. Like <laughs> every week, some creation is happening out there and everywhere in the world. And with the internet these days, like yeah. you don't, you're not just stuck to just your city's music. You're stuck to you. You have the world's yeah. music in it's the crazy. palm of your hands. Yeah. And I feel like particularly this past year, really, like over the course of this year, bleeding into 2017, like. I feel like every week, every two weeks, there's just like a sick ass album that comes out that you're just like, dude, what the fuck? Like Sid's this is fire, album, you know? Like Big we already Sean's started album, this year off like with heat. Egos, like yeah. what the fuck? Like, Kaylani all in Bay this, like, represent, you know? That shit's crazy. Yeah, and it's only like the second week of February. It's crazy, you know. At this rate, you know, I read the uh, the article like, hella people did, you know, top 50 albums of 2016, you know, and I was just going through that list. I was like, fuck, dude. There's a lot, a lot of, of good lot. music. Even Rihanna's anti yeah. was, was like, ugh, that was 2016. Yeah. So She's let me like, ask you then, like, as a as an artist, does that intimidate you a little bit that there is a lot of great content being pushed out there right now and it's accessible to everyone? Yeah. Or do you see that as an as an avenue for your even more creative creativity to grow because of this platform. It, it can Dude, go those really artists are my main influences, so yeah. I think they should never stop. Like, 
I'm not intimidated because flowers don't really trip about blooming what's next to it. You know, they, they bloom on their own. Yeah. And you cannot compare yourself to another person's art. Wow. Like, <laughs> Real shit. Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Like, everyone's their own beauty. Yeah. And you you got to grow within your own pace. Like, yeah, absolutely. I, I look at my biggest influences. They might be a lot younger than I am, but like, like Rihanna, like, you know, J. Cole, like all those guys are like fucking amazing. And they grew at their own pace. You yeah. know, like, you can't rush this talent. You can't rush like art. You, know, you just got to fucking do it. Yeah. Bring it out the way you want it. Yeah. It's never going to be perfect. You know, nope. Nobody's perfect. No. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Just trying. Trying. The rose <laughs> that grew from the concrete. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, on that note, I would be down to, you know, listen to a tune that you think would be a good one to share. Like oh, damn. I project. got some shit to show y'all for yeah, show, just, just sprinkle, <laughs> sprinkle something in real quick. So, uh, can I show Slippin? Can I show Slippin? You can show Or Spill It? <laughs> Homeboy doesn't even know the name of his tracks. Yo, right? Nady. We just made this, yes, two days ago. Two Sash. days ago, so it's not really done. I didn't get the new bounce of it yet, but I really like this track, and it kind of like, it, this is... Did you send it through email? Yeah, you sent it through email. This is kind of like just very comforting sound of mine. Like, I don't try to do this. This is just kind of what comes out. Um, oh, not your all, baby. Let's go. Yeah. Dance flow wet, I'm slipping. Got your girl in a favorite position. I don't pay attention if you don't pay me. Sitting chilling, sipping on the prescription. Fucker, I'm spilling, spilling, spilling. I'm spilling, spilling, spilling. Ooh, I'm spilling, spilling, spilling. Oops, I'm spilling, spilling, spilling. Uh, I done tip my cup over. Get your bitches slept over. Swallow my go good. She was no percent sober. How you gon' fuck up my order? Spill that shit over my shoulder. Keep bump that white soda. Bass slang and talking Yoda. Dance flow wet, I'm slipping. Got your girl in a favorite position. I don't pay attention if you don't pay me. Sitting chilling, sipping on the prescription. Fucker, I'm spilling, spilling. <laughs> Produced by Nady, yours truly on the camera right now. Hey, hey so um, really quick before you play another track, yeah, he's got fire like that all day. Yeah. So one thing I love about your style is that it's so loose, it's so free, it's so fun, it's so like I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? Like this I'm shit just was done a in good 15 time. minutes, dude. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> this dude just grabs his phone and starts penning shit down. You know, like explain your process to me. So when you hear a track for the first time, like. Do ideas start coming to your head? Do you just sit down and start like penning shit down? Like, how do you do it? Um, yeah, definitely. If it if I hear something that influences me, I'll sit down and just kind of like, like I've I've changed my writing style yeah. recently because I fucking I suck at that shit. Like I'm sitting down like trying to like go over it and over it. But like, uh, my friends have kind of taught me just like listen to it and feel it out. Like my friend Nady just been coming out with these hooks, first try. And I'm like, what the fuck? How do you do that? You know? So like I, I just been recently trying that out. Um, that's why a lot of mumbling comes out and just like it's not really like there. But what naturally comes to you when you first like initially hear the track, that's kind of like where I'm getting at too. I'm try- I'm tr- I'm trying to extract whatever's coming out of here too. Like I don't yeah, really know yeah. what's going on, but it's <laughs> just, just natural. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. With it. And <laughs> I mean, that's why it's so sick, man. And you can kind of tell that. You can tell it's just like genuine. Because if you meet JMO, like, you know, you listen to some of the content of these tracks and shit, you're like, this dude's like the nicest fucking guy I know. Like, he's talking about bending bitches over and shit, you know. <laughs> but like, 
it's all like if you know him, you know it's all fun and it's like all like it's that flow of the track, like and it just that's what yeah. makes it so dope, man. It's yeah. like such a representation of you in its own way. Yeah. You feel me? It's sick. But when I used to dance, dude, like I used to I love dancing the hard shit. Yeah. Like, I can't be the, always dancing the soft <laughs> shit. And, like you look soft, you know, like <laughs> when you dance the hard shit, like I could in the bay, like the Filipinos I grew around with, they're just like that hard, yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. And from b boy like mentality, it's like, oh, I'm better than you, but it's not really. We're, we're friends, yeah, yeah. but it's just like you want to give off that like, oh, yeah. you know, like, and that comes from just like you know, just creating something that like you can, you know, feel like you feel. Yeah, you know? yeah. All right, well, why don't you show us another track if you're down? If you got some, you got some, some that good, good. Yeah. Gonna, oh, dude, yo, shout out to Stone Mike Stone. He's late. Always, always, <laughs> always late, I Mike like Stone. <laughs> <The> this, <laughs> where is Mike Stone? This is the first <laughs> mixtape I'm dropping. Where? It's called Kunopa, <laughs> featuring Mike Stone. He produced Who? most of the tracks, and with the help of chairgivers, everyone around here, Nady, Kato, Tracy, Gang Squad, even squad, Kimo. Squad. He fucking actually gave me the first lyrics to this song. So, all right, y'all, check this out. Hey, this? Oh, no. Let's go. Hey. Hey. Bye, Ray. Hey. Omana. 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 Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna skeet on a bitch. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna hit on a bitch. Uh, you just. What? You just came with. Uh, I'm gonna skeet on a bitch. Yeah. I'm gonna hit on a bitch. Yeah. You just came with the bitch. But I'm gonna leave with the bitch. I'm gonna skeet on a bitch. Yeah. I'm gonna hit on a bitch. You just came with the bitch, but I'm gonna leave with the bitch. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah. Gotti in a Bugatti, Jet money in a Bugatti. What I gotta do to make it bounce? Line that shit, we got an ounce. Yo, bitch looks sagas. Put her ass in a sucker. She go round like suckers. You a couple of suckers. Yeah. I'm gonna. 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 I'm gonna hit on a bitch. I'ma just get on the bitch. Uh, I'ma just skeet on the bitch. Uh, I'ma just dip on the bitch. Uh, I'm gonna, 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 yeah. I'm gonna skeet on the bitch. I'm gonna hit on the bitch. You just came with the bitch, but I'm gonna leave with the bitch. Yeah. Ken Young, Kaseki, look at all those sekis. Pass me a dose I be so sexy. Ken Young, Kaseki, look at all those sekis. Pass me a dose I be so sexy. Shout out to Robbie. Yori wa yori wa you uh, bitch asshole uh, I don't know about you no more uh, I don't know how to take it right there You just a stinky asshole though Stinky asshole though Kenyona She bar Kenyona 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 Yiri ga ya Chori ga y Kenyon She bar Kenyon Chori ga chori ga ya No disrespect to women Women power always I was going through a very bad breakup Don't Sorry That's how I get out my emotions <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 but yeah, that was Omana. That's going to be on Kunopa Project. You're a fool, Mike Stone. man. You're a fool, man. Yes, sir. That track's hot. Yes, I, I really fuck with that track. Hey, well, um, it's really uh, not coincidental that we decided to go with Korean barbecue tonight for yeah. tonight's meal. So, you know. Y'all don't know how to do Korean barbecue at home until y'all watch this. Yeah. This is, we are certified pros by this point. Well, we've probably done that shit like over. Easily over 20 times. Mm -hmm. Easily over 20 times at the crib, bro. We you know, professionals by now. Yeah, at Barbie. yeah, by now, you know, you never need to. I can't justify spending $10 at a Korean barbecue spot when <laughs> we can do Korean bar. Like, and that's like, you'll never find that, you know, but we can blaze and drink and fucking do it all up here. Yeah. Yeah, do fuck it. me, right? <laughs> 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 I mean, if it's 10 bucks, I'm down. Yeah, if it's ten bucks, I'm down. But yo, I got one more song to show you. It's produced by Dave Baker. He's in Hawaii right now. 
Living that good Shouts life. Shouts out Dave Baker. D. Baker. Baker's Dozen. Um, this song is actually like the first take I've ever done in an indie rock song. Like, Oh, this is my favorite. I don't know how to really rap song. or sing, but this was like something that I really felt. And this is probably like one of my favorite songs. Uh, this is different. So this is kind of uncomfortable for me to show, but I really like this and I really think we're going to pursue on this song. It's not done yet. There's going to be a guitar drop. But this one is called Jame Impala for now. <laughs> Fucking beautiful. Heavily influenced by Tame Impala. Hey, get it? the indie rock track yeah. called Jame and Paula. <laughs> That's, uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. I it's fucking different. love that track. Yeah. Yeah. It's different. It's and different. Uh, I think, ah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think it's just such a great representation of you as a person, as an artist, like you said earlier, like you don't consider yourself just a rapper. Like, that's fucking different, you know? That's not exactly. something that just a rapper would do. It's uh -huh. something that an artist would do, and I think that's really how you're successfully crafting yourself right now. So. Yeah, you're fucking, <laughs> fucking killing it, man. <laughs> uh, we, got a, we got a performance from this dude coming up in a little bit. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I want to say thank you again. My dog. You got it. TV dinner, we're out here. TV dinner, taste breakers, Cardo Wasil. Don't cut it yet. We're I'm the host. I took over. Yo, I'm gonna ask to ask you some questions now. Cool. Yo, let's do it. Do you remember a time where you had to hold in your fart really bad? Bro, are you kidding me? That's like every day of my life. <laughs> I'm like a, I have, I have, I'm like a gassy person, you know. Yeah. Particularly when you yeah. ask me about it. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> 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 no, nah, but For in real. all seriousness, uh, yeah, that was serious. That's hundred percent serious. That's my everyday. It's my life. <laughs> 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 now you don't eat dairy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's good. It's a good reason. Uh, no, nah, it's like you know when you're on like a date with a girl or whatever. You, have, you know, just like situations. I like just those. went through that recently. It yeah, was, it was pretty bad. I actually like. Whew, I farted on accident. Oh, those she are the worst, dude. And then, and then she totally thought it was the dog. Like, ah, she thought, like yeah. The dog was way in the room, so sh she was like looking for the dog for a good 15 seconds. I'm like, D just chill. Yeah. I, I, I farted. <laughs> it was pretty, I guess pretty she, embarrassing. Was she okay with it? But she was really okay with it. So good thing cool. she was She's drunk, a keeper. so it was She's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Get uh, your girl drunk. You'll both be gassy. You got anything else for me? Um, 
Not at the top of my head. <laughs> just had to, you had to bring my flatulence problem to yeah, air, and then same. that's it. We just leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, what's bro. with your T-shirt? Oh, yeah. We got this capsule with uh, Oh Man clothing coming out on oh, Valentine's Day. Flavor capsule. First of hopefully many, but not too many. You know? Just enough. Just we enough. Got <laughs> we got just shirts. Just enough. We got aprons. Yo, I fucks with that apron hard. That yeah, there's a tight. there's a white one, there's a black one. Nate, show them your black one if you can. Is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> Nate's wearing the black one. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> um, that shit's fire. We got we got hoodies. Yeah. Um, Congratulations, yeah. man. Yeah, man, it was a really fun project. Uh, Nam from Oh Man, it was our boy, you know, and it's like something that has been an interest of Kato's for a while, something that's been an interest of mine for a while, and we Tight. just really made it happen, you know? Tight. Came out with a sick line, we think, and so far our friends think, so that's sick, and that's all that matters. I mean, we just made enough to fucking sell to our friends, and hopefully all the homies, like, support, rep, you know? That's so that's what it's up. about. It's about, yeah. like, you know, I want to get to a point right now where I'm just trying to collect all my friends' gears, like, everyone I know immediately, and just, like, rep that, you know? Because that's what this stage is right now. We got to... It's help beautiful. each other, bring each other up. You feel me? So, absolutely. So we're trying to do with this. We're trying to just enter in, you know, with cool kids. Enter the dragon. <laughs> Get it. Yeah. Cha. Cha. Yo, shout out to our crew right here for making it out tonight. Everybody. <laughs> Get it. Yeah. Y'all are beautiful. We bought hella food. Uh huh. We're gonna start cooking soon. Actually, people are on their way. Lit. Alrighty, right. let's wrap this up. Yeah. Thank you again. West side. Love you, bro. Thank you. Cool. Love you.